Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. In this video, we are comparing the 22LR, the 17HMR, and the 22 Mag. I'm gonna show you here in a second, but you guys that watch the show know I recently built a stainless steel holder rig where we've tested several things already. And that stainless steel is tough. It completely stopped some stuff, didn't even go through one. I think these, we might be able to get through a few walls, but that's today's video. I'm gonna show you the rig here in a second. How many walls of stainless steel will these go through? The 22LR versus the 17HMR versus the 22 mag. And because I know it's gonna be the number one comment, I'm gonna get the chronograph speeds that way. Uh, when 57,321 of y'all say, what was the chronograph speeds? I can just say, I put it in the video. So real quick, this is my stainless steel rig. I've had several things, like I said, not been able to even get through one wall. And I had something else in another video get through, I don't know, five or six, quite a few. Actually ran out. So those are some bonus ones at the end, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clean. And I have a hard time thinking that any of those rim fires is gonna go through seven, but this should be pretty interesting. For the 22LR, I'm using some Remington Golden Boo lights, and I'm gonna sling them out of this Bergara BMR bolt action. Everything I brought up today was bolt actions, try to keep the comparison somewhat similar. Then for my 17 HMR, we've got some Remington Magnum rim fire gonna be flinging those out of my savage model 17v don't see those all the time and then for the 22 mag also using remington magnum rimfire and i'm gonna send those out of my cz 457 but first let's grab some chronograph readings real quick on these I'll do three of each and put them up on the screen and we'll get an average just to get us a, a good ballpark number here of these chronograph speeds. All right, so first here we go with the 22 LR. See what they read here. Try to get close to, to my muzzle velocity as I can here. 1262. 12.37. 12.57 and I'll pop up the average on the screen there. Let's go here with the 17 HMR. Same thing, three and I'll get you an average. Error, let me back up some. 26.52, so a lot faster with that 17 HMR. And 26.36, let me grab another one. I only loaded three. 26.56, and I'll pop up the average here for you. Now, same thing for that 22 mag. See what we get here. Try to not hit the chronograph. 19.28. 19.29. That's consistent. And that one didn't read. Let me grab another one. Resetting the chronograph. All right, giving up on the 22 mag. We're just rolling with the average of two. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what the deal was, but I couldn't get the chronograph to read a third reading for the 22 mag, but here's what it is. But now the moment we all been waiting for, let's send one at this stainless steel. I'm gonna guess 22 mag goes through the worst, the worst, the most. Comment down below what you think goes through more, 22, 17, or 22 mag. All right, so here we go. 22 LR first out of this Bergara. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna give you a couple different camera angles. They zoom you in on this one. All right, 22 LR first. Let's see what happens. Oh, we definitely got it hit. And, of course, I forgot to turn one of my cameras on, but we'll get a, a secondary view with the following ones. But coming close, let me show you this. Here's the view from the front. We definitely got daylight coming through there. Then, how many did we go through? 
Well, there's a hole in the second one. And then the third one, check that out. Right there. So, number one, 22 caliber hole through there. Number two, actually looks like the hole's getting a little bit bigger maybe. And then number three, got a big old dent in it. And we actually have the lead down in there, which I'm going to pick up so we don't mistake it for something else. A couple little shavings over there too. So for 22 LR, we got through one, two, and then the boo lot stopped in between two and three. Let's grab the 17 next. All right, next is that 17 HMR, the fastest out of the bunch. Let me zoom you in here and get the above. This one I'm gonna aim to the right of that 22 LR. Hey, we got a hit. Let's check it out. So big difference on this one from the 22. Now keep in mind, this one's going over twice as fast as the 22, but right off the front. A little bit smaller hole, it's 17 caliber instead of 22, but how many did it go through? Well, let's see. We got a hole in number two. We got a hole in number three, where the 22 LR did not get a hole. And there's like some, a bunch of, I don't know, gunpowder blast. Let me get it out here so you can see it. This is number three. It's looking pretty gnarly now, guys. That's number three. Put that back in there. Then we got number four. Guess what? There's a hole through number four too. There's number four for the 17 HMR. And then it stopped on number five. And no hole through there. Pretty good sized dent though. It almost came out the back of number five. So this is pretty cool. See the back of that, guys? It almost came through number five. And then a whole bunch of random shards down there in between number four and five. I'll get those out here. But 22 only went through two, stopped right here. But then the 17 HMR went through one, two, three, four and stopped in between four and number five. Is the 22 mag gonna be enough to go further? Let's find out. All right, 22 mag now, the medium speed, but also a 40 grainer. This is the one that I guess was gonna go the furthest. It's too late to change my guess now, but I think we're gonna be hard pressed to beat that 17 HMR. Resume you in and see what happens. another hole let's see what happened all right so now let's take a look at what happened with the 22 mag so 22 mag looks to have made the biggest hole right there in the top center but how many did it go through well there's number one number two number two 22 mag members that middle one Looks like the biggest, most severe thing happening. And it went through, number two. Now, what happened with number three? More of the same for number three. It's getting wild and gnarly like the 17 HMR did. Ooh, that's bright. Big hole out the back of number three. And if you're looking closely enough already, you probably already saw. I'm trying to get these back in without slicing my hands. These are sharp. Number four one two three four guess what also big old hole where the 22 didn't get this far but the 17 did we might as well pull it out so 22 mag is in the middle i got a bug biting my head ouch yikes uh anyways 22 mag on the left there now 17 hmr on the right you be the judge of what did the most damage, but let's look at number five now. So guess what? 17 HMR tied 
the 22 mag, they both hit number five and stopped. We can see the lid down there, but which one made the biggest dent? On the left is the 22 mag. Let's look at the back. So now the right is the 22 mag. I think the 22 mag did more damage to the fifth one. This one right here. Pretty wild. And the 17 HMR seemed to be in more shreds as well. Let's see what that lid looks like. Yeah, the lid's pretty much uh, intact there. Let's put it beside all that other lead. And just for the sake of showing you the side by side, there's the 22 LR, which ended up being in two pieces. The 17 HMR, which is a pile of shards really. And then the 22 mag is all one piece of lead there. Pretty wild, pretty cool. All right guys, so that was a whole lot of fun. You guys be the judge. What is the best and tell me why tell me which one's your favorite in the comments down below my guess of 22 mag I guess it's kind of right. Oh my goodness. Did y'all see that be anyways? I did guess the 22 mag would win and I actually I think it did kind of win because it made a bigger dent um, In that fifth one, but hey All in all that was a whole lot of fun comment down below your ideas for future videos always read every single comment appreciate y'all big time make sure you're subscribed tons more videos coming every day appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one